Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to show you a couple of things that I've learned at the moon. Oh my voice is going. So we're going to go ahead and spawn in at Sanctuary. I have done Warlock, then Hunter, then Titan. I did all my powerful on my Warlock. I did all my powerful on my Hunter. And then I did my powerful on my Pinnacle on my Titan. Then I went back to my hunter and did my pinnacle and now i'm filling out my gaps balancing out my character on my warlock so i am actually you see my guns on the left are much much higher than the gun than my armor on the right so we're gonna go left towards the hellmouth like the guy in the youtube video i cannot remember which youtuber it was what i'll do is i'll find it and I'll, i will post it in my description box and he, he he showed you where they are but i kind of want to explain in more depth because me and the boyfriend spent some time here and uh, we do it a slightly different way and i'll just explain in in a different way so there's the night if you haven't seen the video the way this works is there's the nightmare over here who will usually be here uh if he won't then a nice little loot crate will be there for your opening pleasure so, <clears throat> we will commune with the dickhead. And then, back down. Xeno Fage him. And already a drop. And then hopefully in here you'll get something. You know always, uh, when it's Phantasmal Fragments, it kind of feels like a punch in the face. And then you're going to leave him. And you're going to come up here. So you're going to go right, come up here, and there should be, in theory, a knight here. However, there isn't. There is a knight every two runs of that. Ugh. Every every two nightmares, there'll be the Trove Guardian here. But then what you want to do is you want to just zip up here, zip around, because sometimes there'll be roaming ogres, three ogres. One of them is the powerful enemy, the other two kind of like his bodyguards that are absolute pussies and super weak so um and then <clears throat> sometimes a nightmare will pop up here just randomly so you'll grab him and then there could be a high value server to here Ugh. my uh left trigger doesn't work so my sparrow is quite slow like it will boost and then it will stop boosting um and then there's sometimes the servitor can spawn here um and then like i say the the ogres could spawn kind of just there um so once you've done a loop round <clears throat> you can confront your nightmare again And then once you've done that, you can zippity zoo back up here and the Trove Guardian should be there, theoretically speaking. And he's not. Why are you not there, dickhead? Okay. Weird. Oh, no, somebody's killed him. Look, somebody's killed him. They've just not followed the jumping puzzle. Now, I don't know when this was activated. I also haven't jumped this on a warlock yet. So, let's just... <clears throat> try not to fall. Oof! Oof! What a brain. It's too early in the morning for jumping puzzles. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so to recap, you kill the Nightmare, then you have a quick look for the Trove, Guardian, the big Night Guy. Um, if he's not there, do a big loop of the map looking for other Nightmares that spawn, high value targets and public events. Then you kill the Nightmare again, 
so and then the trove definitely will be there and then you do the little jump jumping puzzle so for every two times you kill the nightmare the trove does and will spawn so that means that you do nightmare loot nightmare trove and keep doing that thank you ever so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you soon bye let me down, let me down.